Dragon Ruler 1131 here again, and this is not so simple, but it is pretty cool when it works. It's something you have to like practice at. You gotta first learn how to throw a card in the air for it to come back down. Um, once you've learned that, you can get to uh, you gotta learn how to do a a fan. So that way you could be able to do this and then just hold it up and as you throw this in there the idea is to get the card to hit in a way where it stands so it's not easy and don't expect to learn it the first time it's something that you get lucky with or you just practice so much that eventually you know exactly where to throw it how to throw it and where to put your hands to the point where it's just like you throw it up and sham it's right there already boom like that so it's not something that's hard but it is something that uh okay so it is hard the techniques are simple easy what's hard about it is the fact that um in order to do it you need to be able to throw a card in the air and for it to come back down. If you could also catch a card after throwing it up in the air, it helps. So I would recommend learning that. Uh, it would help uh, with it's kind of how you have you have to know that in order to do this and then catch it but once you got it down like I said it is awesome to just throw it up in the air and if you um, do a tenkai palm which is basically where you show a card, you take a card. Did I take it? No, it's right here. So show a card, take a card, and then, but then you just show this, these cards. Not trying to reveal the card down here. Um, and just fan that out, and palming this card without the audience seeing. You show behind the cards and all of a sudden you throw a card up in the air or you say watch this it's gonna fall in the it's gonna fall from the deck throw it up throw it in and boom there's one card here there it is so it's just it's it's something hard slightly difficult because of the preciseness you have to have in order to do it but once you've got it it's pretty awesome I mean to do it over and over again is fun feel achievement 
Um, the Tim Kai poem is something you can look up on Disturb Reality. He has a more in-depth tutorial. This is basically the position you're going to be in. It's a little bit angle sensitive. You have to figure out the angle to it. Basically, you want to keep the card parallel to the floor like this. And once you have that, you can go ahead and just make it appear. Or you can um, do that. Or, as I showed you for, for the first time, is just where your hand comes in and takes it, and it's there. See that? It's there. Look how not natural this looks. It's just hold your fingers here and then point at this one, and then open reveal, and then just there it goes. Or, uh, if, you, if you're skilled at it, which I'm still not there yet. Uh, I still have to practice it, but the there it is. I mean, the card disappeared and then reappeared. It's just, just a simple backhand palm, which I'm pretty sure Disturb Reality also has a tutorial on. So it's just something like that. Um, just show the card. You could just show the card, and there it is. Just boom. I gotta practice it more. I'm not there yet. Um, I figured I found out a new style of palming cards. It's so simple yet so effective. Um, by pushing over while you're talking to the person. If you count off two cards while doing that and then just scoring them up real quick, all you gotta do is that and then there you go, you got your double lift. There's the king of diamonds and then slide it and then there and then there. Or if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you could simply go um you could simply go through uh there's the six of hearts, the top card. Now watch as the top card turns into the king of diamonds. Uh, it's just a top switch it's not really meant for that but it's just an example of oh double up the cards no I'm just kidding um, here if you have one card here um, for the ambitious card routine this is a good move you're talking to them you're talking to them and then all of a sudden you're talking to them you're talking to them you're talking to them so it's real fast real simple you gotta keep your hands moving you want to keep it nice and smooth once you make the switch, you don't want to show the card. You just want to keep your hands moving and just it's whatever. So it's just you gotta something. You have to be fast. You want to be fast, but also you want to make it look natural. I mean, push off this card, push this over, and then steal from underneath. It, it's good for a for a ambitious card routine. Say the six of hearts is our card. All you gotta do is um, show the six of hearts, right? And then, um, okay, so I'm gonna give you this card, the six of cards, hearts. I want you to hold down your hand, and boom, and boom. So it's just simple. And then the double lift, as I told you, count down two. It's hard to hold, but if you hold it right. Um, I would recommend when you're when you're holding a two, a double lift. I would recommend trying to hold it to the point where you can hold and make it look like one card, even though it's obviously well. You obviously know it's not, but where right now I'm holding it and I have two cards in my hands. But if you hold it properly, um, where it looks like you're holding two cards as long as you're uh, one card, as long as you're always moving that card, it should be fine. And then you just throw it down and then show that the top card changed. So it's just simple and simple like that. Um let's see what else. Oh, this flur uh I'm pretty sure it's considered a flourish because of everything that happens. Uh but you do that and then catch that. It's not supposed to do that, it just turned out to look like that. Uh then you fold this you you square this up and then simple as that. Uh, another thing you could do is 
I was told the Egyptian shuffle, which is the first you have to start off with the perfect riffle shuffle, where you take half and half, put the edges together, get them to um, weave the cards inside, helps to square up the deck. And I'm pretty sure you can find a tutorial on the perfect riffle shuffle. Uh, there's got to be one online. I know I found one. I don't remember the name of it, but there's uh, one. Uh, I would uh, say that there are some effects to the. Okay, so you do this, and then you hear with the double card which you can make the huge fan with I'm still not skilled at it so I'm not even gonna attempt it on here but uh you have this and then you just let go slowly of all the cards but you hold them at the tip and then you size them up on both ends and you keep the tips connected just as so alright you want to keep the tips connected then you put your pinky you move into position to hold which is this. Your thumb is down here, your fingers in between, your pinkies over here, and your two fingers are up here. Now, what you're doing is you're just slowly letting go of everything. And it just it's supposed to fold in. If I can do this right, it'll look really nice. Hold on. This is my faster way of a perfect sh uh, riffle. So may not be perfect but I at least got most of the cards uh, weaved in so I'm gonna hold it like this now that you have the cards held like this just let go little by little and boom that's what happens <sighs> uh, just a quick mm, extra no one won the. No one won the uh, the 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 thing. No one won the deck. The answer was the poster in the background. It changed throughout the videos, but this is pretty late in the video. Hopefully, you enjoy the beginning. Tell me what you think of the beginning. I'm adding it in. I'm trying to see what's new. Um, but this is Dragon Ruler 1131. So I'm about to say a piece. Sorry for being talking fast if you don't understand me. Pause through the video and I'll talk to you later. Peace.